Hi, welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna be bringing you Rizzo by Motown Tress. Stay tuned. Okay, so today I'm gonna be bringing you a Motown Tress wig. This is Rizzo. It says that she is a 13 by five lace part with invisible HD lace and an elastic comfort band. Now, if you follow my channel, you'll know that sometimes I have a love-hate relationship with those elastic bands. We're gonna see how Motown Tress's band fits me. Um, I don't think I've ever gotten a wig from Motown Tress that had the um, lace band in it. Sorry, sorry, I'm fighting some packaging. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on, hang on. Oh, she's in here with foam and paper and silicone packets and all kinds of good stuff. Wow, they have her in here really really well okay oh she's soft hang on hang on hang on before I show her to you guys let's look at the stock card um she's very soft okay she is not human hair but she feels well she feels synthetic but human hair-esque okay if you're of the silky variety um she feels a little bit human hair-esque all right, this says that she has a 13 by five curved lace part with HD invisible lace and an elastic comfort band. Her uh, number is klp.rizzo and I have her in the color two. It also says that she is curling iron safe up to 400 degrees. Now if you can see it shows, oh I had it covered up on the one side. You see there, this is what they're talking about. It's 13 this way, and then five in the center there, uh, and one inch on each side. It looks like five inch deep, and yeah. Anyway, we're gonna have to get in there and uh, see what she's got going on. All right, okay, we'll save that, hold that. All right, here she is, boom. Oh, see how pretty? She's silky, look. Yes, she's soft. She's not soft like a human hair, but she is soft like, she's a soft synthetic. Um, I really, really appreciate that. Okay, so here is her lace, and it is a little bit darker than my complexion, unfortunately, um, but if you have a little more melanin in your skin than I do, you're gonna like that color, okay? Um, her construction is two combs, if I can get to them, in the front, one there and there. She has, oh, she does have a comb, oh, there it is, in the back. And she also has adjustable, if I can get to them, straps, okay? So you can uh, bring them in to be tighter or fasten them toward the outer edges like I do. Um, I have them all the way out. They come that way usually, so if you want them tighter, you have to adjust them. Um, every once in a while, I, now, I'm lying, I have gotten wigs where they were closer to the center, but that's not very often. And the strap. Now, this one's different, okay? This one actually is adjustable. Can you see that? Nice. Okay. Well, I'm going to leave it in the middle. It's got, looks like three lengths. So it's got a small, a medium, a small, a medium, and a large. I'm going to leave it on the medium. All right. And we're going to see what happens. The inside of her cap, she has open wefts in the back. Okay. So you will get hair sometimes that comes through. Um, what I found is when I go to wash them, I just like 
when I'm when I'm combing, when I'm drying, when I'm brushing out, I just stick my fingers in there from the other side and pull the hair back out through the cap from the outside out here. Okay, I'll just reach in and snag and pull. All right. Um, it helps if you wear one of these. I don't always do that because I don't know. I don't know. I'm just sometimes naughty. Okay, so here is that five inch part. Well, that doesn't look terrible. Okay, you see? Goes back pretty far and it's curved. I see what they mean by curved. All right, so let's just, and it looks like she has some baby hair. Okay, let's go ahead and get this girl on my head. We're gonna do the strap first. So what I like to do is just fold this piece back like that, grab this, strap because that's how we're going to go in first here all right secure it oh that's loose okay that's not going to be terrible take the comb stick that in the back of that oh get a facelift holy crap okay Maybe. Where am I? All right. Okay. Yeah, she has some baby hair, it looks like. I don't usually use the baby hair, but I'm going to leave it for now. And let's just have a look-see here. Oh, ha, ha. Okay. So, um... I'm liking her so far, look. Let's get this lace cut off, all right? I'm gonna step off camera and I will be right back. And welcome back. Okay, so um, I got her lace cut off. She's shedding a little, but I wonder if that's just because of um, me getting some baby hair in the process. All right, so gonna toss her back on. I did leave a little extra lace in the front in case I wanted to edit her anymore. Um, you can always take off more lace, but once you've removed it, you can't add the lace back. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah, okay, so she does have, it is a little bit darker, this lace. So I am probably going to end up, so you can see it's darker on me. I may end up going all the way into, I don't usually tack my wigs down. I usually just let them sit like that, okay? So when the wind blows, there is sometimes um, a slight chance that you're going to see my, la my lace flap um but I, I i'm not that worried about it okay so um i may end up going in there and getting rid of the rest of that okay so if you can see here i decided to go on ahead and go up into the lace and cut more of that lace off i am using a um, using a jagged cut um, with my scissors to help trick the eye so that it's not just straight across. Um, but I found that when I have a darker lace, that sometimes if I get that lace, uh, a cleaner cut right up toward my hairline, it gives the illusion that the lace is lighter. Okay, it doesn't actually change the color of the lace, but it sometimes gives the illusion that the lace is lighter. You can see that um, without having any lace there, my hairline does appear to be lighter. Now I'm just going in with my Fit Me powder um, concealer, or well, my powder foundation um, from Fit Me. I have the color 110 for my scalp when my lace is a little bit darker like it is um, on this wig. 
I generally use 220 for my face powder. So like this is this is about two shades lighter than my my natural um, skin tone on my face. So a scalp color is almost always a little bit lighter than your actual uh, skin tone on your face. So um, that might help you out there if you're trying to lighten lace a little bit. Um, I do a little more in-depth process with some liquid sometimes as well, but for now, for this review, I'm just going in with my 110 Fit Me Face Powder Foundation. There we go. Okay. All right. This is Rizzo. Does she look like the stock cart? Yep. She sure does. Um, but she does have a five inch part, which I absolutely love. The deeper the part, the better for me because my hair always had a part that went for days, like ever. It went forever. And I really appreciate these deep parted wigs. Um, she's also parted on, well, she's parted on the left hand side. I like my wigs on the right hand side, but you know what? We're not going to quibble. This is nice. She fits well over there. Um, she also has the adjustable comfort band and looks exactly like the stock, the, the stock card. There is no lie here. Yep, yep, yep. All right. Um, until next time, if there is a wig that you would like to see me review, please put that down in the comment section below. Um, also, while you're there, why don't you give me a thumbs up, like my channel, like my video, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. That way you're alerted every time I upload a new video. Okay? Okay, this is Rizzo from Motown Trust. I'll see you next week. Love you. Bye.